my god. Oh, no way. God! Oh my god! Yeah. Another one. There we go. Okay. Well, look, he's laughing. Treating him like a little kid or something. Right, yeah. He's trying to get in his head. He's trying to put him put him back in his place, I guess. Oh, 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 oh okay. Oh. Yeah, he can put him in his oh. Okay, yeah, he can put him in his place. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. Oh God! Oh no! Not, oh! And a slam! Oh my goodness! Quarter row by Jackson Drake. Uh oh! But it looks like it off. doesn't matter. Come on, Maurice! What is happening? Oh! God. Oh God! No! What's good chat? It's your boy Simi. And today I'm finally here to bring to you what you've all been decided for. Um, I got my commentator here. Brother Andre Freeman here. Welcome to Ace and Firestar Pro Wrestling present Shoes of a Champion. And I've been super excited. Um, I know I've been talking about this for a while, but I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. I know I've been showing you guys through my journey, but it's time for you guys to get that reward that you've been deserving of. Take it to the ring. This match is the Scrap Your Dog Memorial Battle Royal! Let's get it started. Who said that? Me. Was it you in the dorky glasses? You like my glasses though. Case and Kane making Shut friends as usual. Me? Yes, you Shut up. Shut up. Oh wow. Alright, alright. They uh, finally realized <laughs> the bell rung and the battle royal's on the way. <laughs> took them a minute. It took them a minute. By the way, what's good, boss? What's good? VIP, sub, non subs. It's your boy Simmy. You got the McDonald's employee right here. Uh, did he come straight oh. from work? <laughs> He's beating Kid Leon with tongs. Uh, all right, cool. Oh, wow. He's literally beating him with a tong. I see um, in another corner we have Hunter Rayner and um, the Love Machine Absolutely. pairing off. I also see Kid Leon in there. Who do you think's going to win this bout? Oh, that's a great question. I mean, so far, I like... Um, Sir Julius has seems to have a nice strategy. He's over in the corner. Um, Love Machine's out. Love oh, Machine's already. out Love already. You have a first elimination. Out. First elimination indeed. And what a beautiful slam. He grabbed him. He flipped him with the tongs. I've never seen nothing like that before. Well, I uh, yeah, think he was done on that side. Oh, McDonald's. Oh, I guess it's McDonald's is <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, McDonald's worker is clocking out. And Hunter oh. Rainer's gone, too. And we have two eliminations. Two eliminations. McDonald's employees McDonald's. on the way out, uh, he maybe. Is on the way. Oh, my God. McDonald's needs to stay. That's McDonald's the fan is, favorite. He's, he's putting in overtime. He's not getting out of there. Absolutely. Kid Neon is trying to get a Mad Dog Blade round out. Case and Kane joining the effort. Oh, my God. And McDonald's just took a beautiful chop. You know, that's a good, you, let's, let's split this in half. You worry about that side. On my okay. side, Keith Neon's gone. Okay, you got the left side. On the right side, someone's getting their nose squeezed with tongs. McDonald's is not oh, taking care of his appliances. I think <laughs> I think that's, that's God's right hand, uh, uh, Sir Julius, that just, um, just got tonged. Okay. I think we can say that on Twitch. And it seems like the chat is actually loving McDonald's. They see him as a fan favorite. Really? Yeah, surprisingly. Okay. All right, chat. By the way, how are y'all doing, chat? I have to ask you guys. They're letting it go, Kason. What? Oh, not, I'm not calling that. I'm not calling Yo. it. <laughs> Yo, I hate, you know, there's a guy named Jay Malachi. I just really despise, man. Like, wow. every time I look at him, I just be like, wow, what a fucking loser. <laughs> What's good? What's good, chat? Bro, James, He's got nuggets. Bro, has got nuggets in the Battle <laughs> Royal. And an eliminated. elimination from Sir Julius. Stay doing his thing. He should pray over the nuggets. 
I can't tell what is going on right here. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like. Oh, you just got oh. slapped with nuggets. And McDonald's is gone. You ever been slapped in the face with a six piece? I've never seen that day in my life. Maybe he should have switched to Burger King. <laughs> He's actually getting jumped. He's not having it his way. And the chat is actually visibly upset. <laughs> <laughs> and another elimination from St. Julius. Or Blade by, Brown is, by Scrapyard. Blade Mad Brown is, is on a roll right now. Okay. We're down to our final four here. Our final three here. The boy Blade Brown getting jumped. Where Simi Simi is right here. Don't have nothing to worry about. I'm here, you guys. Oh, yeah, Simi's here. Simi's okay. <laughs> I'm alive. McDonald's isn't, but Simi's fine. These two men just Ooh. got a suplex. They're not fine either. Nice little suplex. And you have to believe that this is, like, a, a, a huge moment for, uh, for Blade Brown tonight. Wanting to honor one of his mentors, someone that means meant so much to this area and the Carolina wrestling as a whole. It is Scrapyard. Shout out to Scrapyard. What a beautiful dodge by Blade Brown and he's still uh, almost, in. almost. Referee oh. Dalen says, "Uh oh." Oh, woo! Oh my God! That poor wall. Yeah, poor elbow too. Casey Kane is shaking the chain. Bad idea. He got caught. Bad timing. Oh God. He's up and in the corner. Oh. Oh. A very angry Blade Brown. Oh, wow. Belly to yeah, belly. To belly. Okay. And a roll through? Another one? <laughs> that is. Nah, that was clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Blade Brown for the oh. win. He missed the. Blade Brown fighting with everything he has to stay in this battle royal. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, he's not going he's not going to use the change. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god, that's a terrible way to go out. Oh my goodness, this match is over. The winner this of the match! match that's how we're ending it. Kaysen! Even for me, that's just not okay. I ain't gonna lie, that's a level of disrespect that I just would not take. I gotta be honest. This is a first round matchup of the Shoes of a Champion Tournament. Introducing first, Dante Kali. Yes, sir. That's my man's. Oh, oh, oh. F.D. Dante Khalifa. You say it right. Say it right, Seth. Say it right, say it right Seth. Yeah, say it right. Put your man. And his opponent. And big. That's a big man. Yes, he's large. Yeah, absolutely. And concerning. Dante Khalifa's not concerned, though, and I like that. He That's why I like Dante he, Khalifa. He ready. He said he got that dog in him. He said, yeah, so so this is the thing, right? This is this is the uh, tournament they're kind of first ever. Oh, jeez. You were saying? Um, I mean, I, I, I said he's big. He's, he's, he's really big. But we're, this tournament's the kind of first ever super jaw champion. Yeah, his jaw got to hurt from the angle. Uh, yeah, that was, that was a super punch. But um, Aaron, Aaron Biggs is um is uh, not really. Oh, Angela, I'm not. I'm just not being in the opposite ring. You know, yeah, I don't, oh, well, I don't like look, him. Look at him. I don't like him. Don't and look it, in his eye. And it just like a lion, a bear. I this is my first time seeing Aaron Biggs. Was kind of my point. I'm not sure how he's in this tournament. He has. I don't know his history with Firestar. I don't think he has on with Ace. Oh, oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh, hell no. I was gonna say something nice about Dante Khalifa, but now I'm not sure there's still a Dante Khalifa. <laughs> man, nah. Oh, my Last time hurts. I took a chop like that, man, my whole chest was purple and blue. Last time I took a chop like that's because I was talking back. 
It happens to thumb the best to the, Do what you got to do, young man. Sometimes you just, a thumb to the eye just gets things done. That's very true. I've been told. Okay. He said he going to make light work. Someone has to. He's fighting to look. He's, he's back up every time. We've seen some of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe. Okay. It seems like the chat is also focused on the crowd from what I'm seeing. What what's the chat say about the crowd? Um girl in the blue got a segment or something. They're asking questions. Does the girl in the blue have a segment? Yeah. Not today. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to let them know, but you Not know <laughs> You know the horn balls, man. Well uh I tell you what, stick around for uh as many A shows as you can get to and you you may see her one day. That is very true. Just just stay with us. Turn them notes. Meanwhile. Oh! Damn! I think he just moved the ring. Whole room shook. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes something like that's all you need. He can. It, oh, oh, no way. Okay. God! Listen. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> the winner of the match! Ring the bell. And Biggs! Well, I, he almost suffocated. He almost smothered him. That's just not fair. It's not fair at all. That's not fair. What's he supposed to do about that? What is he supposed to do about that? I couldn't tell you, man. What a win. Wait. That's, that's just, that's not okay. I don't support this. I don't support this at all. First of all, Aaron Bridge should oh, be in man. this tournament. That was funny to me. Second of all, he's using his body as a weapon. Oh, man. So, as you see, the chat. Hey, hey, you know, that's my that's my that's my community, but you know, Aaron Biggs just got the beautiful win. Um, got my great commentator right here beside me. Like I told y'all, this is the first IRL technical stream that we are doing. So, you know, we got we gotta make it look crazy. We gotta make it look cool. I don't even know what I just saw. That chop was insane. That was that was, it was a lot of violence, a lot of um throwing, a lot of taking advantage of the situation. Someone should go check on Dante. We are on to our next match. This is a first round match of the Shoes of a Champion Tournament. <laughs> Introdu <laughs> Introducing first, Azriel Kayam. Hold on well. Introducing Sir, second, he is accompanied to the ring by his manager, Seth Clayton Burns, oh, SCB. Is he is going to steamroll through Azriel Kayam. He is who's the Messiah of Muay Thai. Who's in charge? The though? Jehovah of Jiu Jitsu. Worship him because he is your God oh, of God. combat God. sports. Right hand on the bottom. Jesse Amen. Alexander Carter, J. A C. This is Jack. Hang on, I need to. I need to take the microphone from him. That was about half the half the rest of the that show. That was that was Glaze, if I've ever seen it. So you're telling me nobody in Firestar, nobody in Ace, decided to check if the ring announcer had ties to one of the competitors? That's what I'm saying. It makes absolutely no sense. This isn't fair. Seems like some kind of advantage if you ask me. It is exactly what it is. This isn't fair at all. How lazy is management around here? That's what I'm saying. To not even double check that? I should have been his manager. Yeah, now who's managing Azrael? Who's gonna who's gonna give Azrael a full Who's gonna give Azrael a full interest that he deserves? Oh. oh, oh wow! Low blow. He's big body. There you go. See, that's what happens when you don't give a man his full interest. Now these two know each other very well. I expect this to be a really, a really strong back and forth match. I can confirm they are not talking, chat. Can confirm. Can confirm. And that's all as they say. You know, styles make fights. You have Azrael Kaim, who's largely known for quick, uh, quick strikes, high flying moves, and you have Jack, who's an MMA fighter. And someone who just enjoys hurting people. Listen to this. Oh my Ooh. God, yo. That's, them chops give me PTSD. I ain't gonna lie. That's. You can start stop a heart like that. Is he that. putting his. What, what is going on? I think I think Ezra was going for a power bomb. 
and the ring announcer was holding his foot. Oh! Capitalizing off the distraction. And kick, kick out, out at one. Him. Great job. Indeed. That's how you stand up for yourself. And another shot. Okay, this the goodness. Oh gracious. All base. I ain't gonna lie, chat. How y'all feeling, man? I have to, have to have to interact with y'all. You know, do something that a lot of people do. How does chat feel about Jay Z's God complex? Oh, God! Geez. Well, the answer the question. I ain't gonna lie. He caught that one smooth. Yeah, that was that was flush. That was flush. Blood le leaking. It has to be. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Man, this is crazy. I wouldn't let that happen to me, chat. It's not happening. Now look at this. Look at this little rat. Oh my this god. Little, I hope he falls and sprint breaks somebody, his ankle. Somebody come get him. How does Chet feel about this ring announcer that That's we found I, in the gutter? That is a great question now that you said that. Chad, give me your thoughts. Handle that. Oh, look at that. They said he's freaky. He is, yeah, yeah. He's a real he's a weird guy. Woo! He's squirrely. His hair's weird. I don't like his shoes. His I don't like shoes anything. too shiny. Like, look at me and look at him. You know Come on, I mean? man. Right? Yeah, no, you look great. I appreciate it, it man. Nice, you know. It's a nice jacket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to put yeah. it on sometimes. Yeah, you know. Come on. Dig, dig deep. Dig deep, Ash. You can. You can. All right. Sure. Yeah, yeah fine. He's bigger. Yeah, we know who's the stronger one here. I mean, yeah, we, we, get, we got that. But Ash is also in a two-on-one fight. You know, we that can't be lost on us either. That is very true. Oh, God. You're a two -two train. Oh. I don't think Seth wants that smoke. I know who said that. He's just off camera. So I can promise you Seth does not want that smoke. Oh. And that's that that's that quickness I was talking about. Just send up something major oh and Azra cut him off. And now he's oh God. all right, sure. To the yeah. cheeks. Oh God. Yes! One, two, and a beautiful kick out. My prayers have been answered. Seth has sprung his ankle on the outside. Oh, God. And JAC is down. Literally nothing As well as in the, everything's looking good for Adams right now. What the touch this man for him to be acting I, like that? I mean, so he was trying to grab Adams' ankle again. He missed. He tripped. And I guess he hurt himself. Good for him. Meanwhile, Adams just got chopped in the throat. There we go. Oh, a beautiful roll, roll up. Roll up. Woo. Every time Seth lunges at the ring, he hurts himself. And and I like that. Yeah, maybe he just needs to stay away at this point. I, I like him hurting himself, honestly. That you know, I'm with you on that. that I'm with you on that. Oh, look how he talking JC to him. is trying to put Az away. Oh, um, my God. What a roll a up. Idea. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Yep. Yes, sir. JC got cocky. He got arrogant. And he got caught. Look at He's red. Jesse Alexander Carter just walked off looking the same color as Seth's shirt. Another win for the good guys. And Seth is back, unfortunately. We are back. That's Hello, a good folks. punishment. He has to he has to announce the rest of the night with his guy gone. Good for him. This is a first round matchup of the shoes of a champion tournament. Let's get this over with. Introducing first, Maurice Moss and Manny Lowe. Can I get some energy though? What's, oh, what's wrong with energy? At this point. Give me some energy with your ugly ass. Oh, Beat his wow. ass. Hey, I think, hey, I think Daylin could do a better job ring announcing than that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I want to see it, Daylin. Great idea. I want to see it. Introducing first. Yeah. The egregious one, Maurice Moss. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And his opponent, Anything it's Brittany, bitch. Days. That is very true. So fly, Manny Lowe. Yeah. 
That's how Your referee for this match, Dalen Ramsey. Shouts to Dalen. <laughs> Well then, now that we're here, so who are y'all rooting for today? Going yeah, what's, to what's, what's, what's chat got going on? Oh wow! I mean, both both these guys, depending on who you talk to, um, have been accused using less than clean tactics. So I understand the hesitation. Both dirty fighters. Yeah, al allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. For sure. Damn. Tranquilo. Manny Lowe is, is he's so fly and he's also so tranquilo. Yeah, he is. Okay. Come on, light skin. He's a lucha to today. Oh. Nice little clean. Okay. Maurice Moss is also a luchador. He said he can do it too. Everyone's a luchador today. He said anything I can do, I can. Anything you can do, I can do better. Oh, that drop kick though. He can't do he that. He got up better. there. He definitely got height. Now Maurice, Maurice can get high. Maurice can get high. Okay. The egregious one filling off the crowd. Now, the last time we saw Maurice Moss. Oh my! Ooh, I had to pause for the chop. If I see another chop, I had to pause for the chop. I, I had to, I had to respect the chop. Always respect the chop. Them chops are something serious. But last time we saw Maurice Moss here in Ace, um, he was actually on the job. He was he was filming. He's, he's a splits time when he's not in the ring. He he's it's a super jaw camera cameraman. Last show, um, he was actually pulled off the camera. He was being disrespected by a talent in the ring. And got in to defend himself. Hmm. Got a little lore behind him. A little bit, yeah. And that's what that's why you uh, you know that this crowd is was kind of confused as to what people were saying. But Reese Moss can get down. He can get scrappy too. Man, he should be careful. I mean, we saw this just kind of blow up in Jack's face, getting a little bit too cocky. And honestly, the crowd doesn't really know who to cheer for. They're booing both competitors. Well, because just like I said, uh, Maurice has that history with Ace. Uh, we all know Manny Lowe has this history with Firestar. So very true. A very split crowd because yeah. they both have attachments to both these competitors. And the crowd is finally starting to see the side that they've been waiting for. Yeah, the, the, the crowd's getting behind the egregious one. Uh, oh my God! He's favoring that that right knee. Yeah, it's it's looking like it's done with. Um, no, but no, they're not. To answer your question, <laughs> 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 definitely not. <laughs> Man. All right, another chop. Another one. Good. Yo, that 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 was base. Yeah, that was very that base. That was base. Yeah. Honestly, anybody could take that. I see why not. The crowd not the crowd not impressed with that chop. Yeah, absolutely not. Come on, man, he's on the One, two, one. Ooh, Ooh. What a knee. That was Uh oh. Woo! Dropped him right on his head. Okay. Myself in one of those. In another world, uh, I've been told that Manny Lowe is a fan of the Hoochie Daddy look. Okay. I have seen that before, actually. Oh, what I haven't seen is someone kick out of a pen and turn it into a submission. The more you see. But the more you know, at least. Those underhanded tactics that we were talking about earlier. Manny's really struggling to get to the rope, but he's got there. And a rope break. And Manny kind of, kind of falling back, thinking, what do I have left to do? 
also looked like he is lingering on to his life holding that right knee. Uh, what is uh, that saying? Okay. Manny, uh, Manny's tag partner, um, Azrael Kaim, the Carmel Delights. Azrael's here at ringside. Manny's girlfriend, also here at ringside, Amira Rose. And now Manny somehow has a chain. Oh. And a head stomp. Put that together however you will. A head stomp from a race, usually. Wow. Leads to a three. The oh, winner of this match, bag. Maurice Moss. So um, I'm, I'm not sure where the chain came from. No idea. But it ended up not being a factor. Never want to have that going into in a in a tournament like this, especially early on. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but hopefully, um, we have we have one more first round match left. Hopefully, Maurice Moss will have some time to recover before semifinals. Yeah. And speaking of which, I believe our final first round match is just about ready. Sounds good. Let's kick it off. This is the final match of the first round of the Shoes of a Champion tournament. Where we find this guy? Introducing first, Christian Cross. Former Firestar uh, Tag Champion. Okay. And introducing second, he represents Fighters Club. No, I'm not. Oh, 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 now oh, that's he's getting, news. He's getting the same treatment. Well, hold on now. He's rejecting it. He's he's rejecting the brand. He doesn't want to be David Parrish. Oh, wow. And Seth doesn't like that. Seth is the Fighters Club manager. He's, he seems like he feels uh, disrespected, slighted. David Parrish. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Maybe you guys should handle this at home and not in public where all the rest of us have to watch. That's very true. Maybe. He brought out his inner Beetlejuice just now. That, that spell red. L-S-T-E-R. Shout out to Beetlejuice. <laughs> 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 all right, man. Come on, yeah. All right, chat, who you got here? We got Christian Cross in the plaid and uh, David Parrish in the underwear. David and Christian. It seems like first person, they said, let's go Christian. That's the first person to say something about one of the two. All so, right, all and right. Another we got David. They said David clears. They're saying Parrish is in between the two. It's looking like a pretty balanced vote, if you ask me. Well, I mean, I, I, I feel like this match is going to um, kind of fall right down the middle, so that's appropriate. Now, between the two here, I would probably – I'd be tempted to go with Christian Cross here. Um, I know he has the experience edge. Um, I, I believe he's also um, more decorated of a career. But David Parrish has, has a world of potential behind him. Definitely does. Arm drags are very clean. I was going to say David Parrish usually uh, impresses everywhere he goes, but he just impressed himself oh. on that turnbuckle. These chops, man, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, they um, they don't get any any easier to say or hear. And I assume feel. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I would know from experience. Yeah, I, I, I proudly do not, and I don't intend to find out. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. I almost got disqualified just now. I mean, Christian, Christian Cross is uh, one of those ruthless competitors that are, um, is not afraid to do anything he needs to do. Um, David's been trying to be a little bit more by the book lately, but Christian does not care. He ducks a chop and gives one right back, and we can still hear it, even with the shirt. Even with the shirt. I mean, it's, it's a cut-up shirt. It's kind of thin. Allison Chain shirt, so it's not new. Seems like the crowd is chanting one more time. Yeah, the crowd always wants more violence. Oh, yeah, Wrestling absolutely. crowds love violence. We'd love to see it. Oh. Oh, wow. Is that a, did he bite him? Yes. It's an eye wrench, a bite. Not entirely sure. Okay. Christian toying with David in the corner here. Oh, he did a hard slap. And now taunting him. Insult and injury. I would not get slapped like that. I can't lie. He needs to get on his feet. I mean, he, he just kind of got bit in the bridge of the nose, oh. I believe. He must there, have you heard me. there you go. He must have heard me talking just now. Yeah. Okay. Mm. David 
still still seems like he's trying to trying to get himself together here. And the kick out. Hello, Chanel. And these two have faced off in um in Ace before. And if I remember correctly, I do think David won that. So Christian Cross here has uh he's trying to get his get back. He, yeah, he's trying to get his get back. Okay. That's understandable. Move this. the second time he got a four count. Yeah, referee Kevin Pierce is going to get in there. Shout out KP. Shout out KP. KP going through a um, troubling time right now. and There should be um, a link at the bottom of your screen to um, donate. We're trying to raise some money to help KP out through some through some troubling times. And Absolutely. But back to business, KP is one of the best referees in the area. Definitely one of the best referees. Great. And then, we're going to make sure that if, you know, if Christian Cross goes up past that four and gets that five, it's, it's, it's over. They have a pair going to the round two. That's very true. David trying to get this crowd back into it. David Pear is someone who often feeds off the crowd. Got a very high. Yeah, yeah. What the hell is Seth doing? Uh, and Jesse's what is he doing? Wait. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, my. No. But why? We don't do that anymore. A, a chair shot? To the head? What is happening? What is this? What was 1999? The, the ref didn't hear that? Wow. The winner of the match, Christian <laughs> Cross. <laughs> what, what was that? That was nasty. What a bitter group of people. Yeah. I have to say, that was Definitely up there. Talk about get backs. What did he do to deserve that is my thing. Well, Jack lost. Jack's the leader of Fighters Club. Okay. David Parrish rejected being announced as part of Fighters Club. Okay. David Parrish looked like he was going to win that match. This match is for the Ace Openweight Championship. Yeah, he better put some respect on that. Introducing first, the challenger, Mark James. He is not a favorite. Okay. I can't believe I have to do this one. You make me sound as gorgeous as I look. Interesting. Yeah, these two have Introducing the ace open weight champion. Oh my God! James freaking Ryan. Look at that gorgeous belt. That is a gorgeous belt. Yeah, it is. Oh! Oh, oh wow. And a okay. boot. No a respect. gorgeous boot. Oh. 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 Mark James asking James... James Ryan, if he, if he sees it, he's referring to, as you just saw, JR call him out. Was it worth it? It might not have been. But I know James Ryan has fought through a lot more. And the bell has rung. James, so. James Ryan has fought through a lot more than this to win that title. So I'm sure he's going to. A couple punches are going to is oh. going to take it away from him. And a spine buster. Oh, geez, not even that spine buster. Mm. Standing on business. Now, if he had lost like that, that would have been kind of crazy. That would have been crazy. I think I think he would have just had to stop. Yeah, I, I, I that's think that would have been it. That's retirement. You lost me. there. He's standing right on his head. That's just uh, great disrespect. That doesn't even do anything. That's just uh, that's just like yeah, just a slap in the face. He throws him out of the ring. Uh oh, I don't like this. There's no barricades uh -oh. to protect us. We don't have no security. Tussling. Both these guys. Uh, have history, they don't like each other. Mark James wants to prove a point, and I don't want him to prove it over here. Oh. 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 I, I like that. Uh oh. No. Wrong way. Wrong. Oh. Goodness. God. Can you, the other way. Other, yeah, yeah. Over there. Great job, guys. Appreciate you, Jared. Yeah. Love you, dog. Good job. Mark James, nothing. Guy who's just a fan of violence. He likes hurting people. 
his team is called the Brutality. They're, they're looking like this is more than a fight, if you ask me. Yeah, no, this is this is about respect. This is about um, an old dog who remembers uh, James Ryan when he was coming up. And this is a James Ryan who is at the top of his game right now and wants to show Mark James, I'm here now. I, I don't. I, you're not the the old guy in the corner who, who who maybe rattles me a little bit. Like I'm 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 on your level, if not past you. That's fair. You got respect. Game is game. Yeah. Another one. There we go. Okay. But look, he's laughing. He's laughing it off. He's treating him like a little kid or something. Right. Yeah. He's trying to get in his head. He's trying to put him, put him back in his place. I guess. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. He can put him in his. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He can put him in his place. I ain't gonna lie. Though. Oh. Woo! He definitely felt that one. But he kicks out. Waiting to hold on to that belt. Chat, do those chops sound as loud to y'all as they do to us? That is actually a very great, uh, great question, chat. Please answer that. Because the way it sounds to us is crazy. It sounds like bullets in here. They do? Oh, yeah, they saying they do. They loud? Uh oh. Chest red. <laughs> yeah, he's red. He's very red. Oh, yeah, it's cooked. Look like he got sunburned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mark James is calling him out. He, I, I believe deep down, Mark James wants James Ryan to pull, prove it to him. Oh, they're going chop for chop. Yeah, this is oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. He's oh. not, okay, yeah. He that was all man base. Up. Man up. Man, all oh my base. God. He's telling him to man up. My God! <laughs> Awake now. He's awake now. Goodness. Goodness. Now look at th Ain't a little bit of time for dancing. Okay. A little bit of time After for dancing. taking all them shots. Got to get it in. I mean, James Ryan is an entertainer just as much as he is a fighter. It is true. And, the, you know, we're not doing entrances tonight. So you got to get the people what they want. Oh. Wow, now that's Goodness. just knowing your opponent. Mark right James him. goes with the goes with um James Ryan's momentum. Still blocking the kick. And just right a like slap a for good measure. These kids are definitely gone, Chad. Oh yeah. yeah. This is a T V M A match of the evening. Oh yeah, for sure. And that was that was closer than I think James Ryan would like it to be. There's definitely hype around this match. Mark James locking in, um, locking in some kind of uh, headlock. So how would you say you're feeling about this match so far? I have to ask you guys. It's definitely our most violent of the night. Perhaps our most personal of the night that we'll see. This match not part of the tournament. This is the Ace Open Weight Championship, the top title for Ace. And James Ryan, the true definition of an Ace original. He was a uh, Part of the program, that not the the rebirth, the OG pre-pandemic Ace shows. Okay, so this is he's this, been here for a little minute. Yeah, this this title means uh, pr maybe more than any other title James Ryan is around right now, simply oh. because of what he had to do to get it, what he uh what he's had to wait for it and survive. <laughs> what a slam to James Ryan, but he kicks out. He kicks out. I mean. And, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of the point I'm making. I mean, everyone's had their their thing the pandemic may have taken from them, and they're fighting to get it back and keep it. And that's what this title is for James Ryan. That's this that's what he lost. His career almost lost in the pandemic. He's able to battle back to now being the ace openweight champion. So not only does he have that, that personal point to prove to Mark James, but he's also fighting for that title, too. It's very true. This seems very personal between the two. Very personal. Both these men are trying to prove something to the other. Both these men want to prove they're tougher, they're badder than the other. And right now, I'm not sure who's right. Honestly, man, what a punch. Tornado. Oh. Okay. You can tell he's been he's been foot on the rope. And the KP did not notice yeah, he, our amazing referee. Yeah, KP's not missing that one. It's not often you see um, James Ryan do a move like that and not double check that ring position. 
I've seen this before. He's going for a kill shot now. Stun like my daddy. Put one in the air for oh. Mark James. Or maybe not. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not. Oh! Emma slam. Oh, my goodness. And another kick out, but it looks like he's about to turn it into. Wow. Yeah, that, 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 that stack up pin. Oh, you can my. You kind of turn it into anything. And he's turned it into a modified sharpshooter. Yeah, that sharpshooter is definitely locked in. Mark James, the veteran he is. Making sure they're de they were and dead center, reaching. but look at that! Look at that fight in James Ryan. And he gets the ropes, but he is still holding on. Like I said, this is very personal between the two. Yeah, that I mean, that's that veteran instinct, right? You're gonna get every every advantage you can, every last second you can get. It seems like the crowd is finally on Jr. side. Goodness. <laughs> Mark gonna take that hate from a crowd and turn it into violence against James Ryan. <laughs> Woo! Oh, wow. Cutting the throat. James Ryan says this is it. Goodness. And is it over? One, two. That's it. Gets the win and is still your ace open weight champion. Yeah, Seth, say it. Say it, Seth. The winner of the match and still yeah. ace open weight champion. Oh, my God. The man who keeps dodging my challenge, James Ryan. You don't want that smoke, Seth. Seth knows he doesn't want that smoke. James Ryan still your ace open weight champion. The young OG, Jay Malachi, Colby Carino, White Mike, Brute number one, Mark James. And now come December 17th, feast your eyes and fantasize UPW because OMG once again is coming to defend his ace championship and he is going to walk out the victor one brute down, one more to go. Why? Because I am the one you came to see, the reason you paid that fee. I'm your damn boy, OMG. Mwah. Smooth. Very smooth. Yeah, one of the best. One of the best in the Carolinas right now, as he just proved with that list. Think of those names. I mean, Jay Malachi, everyone knows what's, um, what's new with him these days. Kobe Carino, a current NWA uh, champion. Very true. I mean, there's a, a long list of, of, of names that James Ryan has been marking off. As we uh, move ahead to our second round matches, we have um, Aaron Biggs and Azrael Kaim first, and then Maurice Moss and Christian Cross. Kind of hard to pick a pick a favorite right now. Well, honestly, um, chat's kind of cracking me up right now. I can't lie. You know, I'm trying to like multitask. Uh oh, what they got? But um, <laughs> as you do see right there, they're talking about our beautiful, beautiful mannequin. Right oh there. yeah. You know, everybody wants him. This is a second round match of the shoes. Of the champion tournament. Introducing Second first, Aaron Biggs. I still have beef with the fact that he's in this tournament. Introducing second, the Hoochie Daddy of professional wrestling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's Hoochie Father. Because I ain't your daddy. There you go. Mm. Ezreal Kyle. Two babies and Super John. You have free first match, Dalen Grayson. But yeah, Aaron Biggs, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand why he's here and why he's in this tournament. I don't appreciate the fact he's in this tournament. Neither does Azrael Kain with that big knee. I Instantly like that. Speeding in. I mean, you have to. Some with that, that kind of size difference, you got to get in there early. You got to do what you can do. And that is saying a lot, obviously, because Azrael is a pretty muscular guy to say the least. So he is now. He looks look, like he ate old ass. That is very true. New ass is, is a is a different person. No, 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 I was just, you know. More speed. There's a lot of speed talking yeah, to your they, chat. They, they really want me in the speedo for some reason. Is this a running thing? No, I wouldn't say that. This is new for tonight? I wouldn't even say it's new for tonight either, though. You oh, know, I think okay. it's a very common thing to where I'm a, a masculator, you know. Oh. But oh. that's okay. You know, I don't pay too much attention to Listen, it. Some people are into that, you know. You know, I'm not just not judge. me. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> that's not my ministry. <laughs> oh, come on. Aaron Beers is taking advantage. Okay. Oh, 
we got to stop with these with these chops. This this could be. I mean, if if Az's heart stops, that's murder, right? He can go to jail. Yeah, I just heard somebody moan. Yeah, somebody just someone in the crowd disagrees with me. No. Someone's he's going to jail. Okay. Oh. He said he'll take the charge. He'll take the charge. That is insane. In today's prison system, this man is crazy. I ain't do a, a thing. Oh wow! That's I mean, and as as is known for his chops, and that's not <laughs> yeah 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 that's abort mission. Get out. Definitely understandable. That he tried, and you know, regroup. Hey, think about it. There's listen, just it's okay. Just think about it. And he is sitting in the crowd. I mean, sometimes you got to catch your breath. There's a lot going on. A lot of those that's chops probably lost his air. He's got 10 seconds to regroup. Everything's fine. Everything's probably fine. All right, breaking that count. And he is Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. It's all right. Okay. Yeah. Sitting so, on his teammate. I mean, that's what they're there for. Partners you know. are there to support each other. You know, they're a team. They're a unit. Very true. Oh, you know, oh no. Hey. 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 Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. Did he just punch a girl? He just pushed the girl. Is Manny okay? Someone check on Manny. That is kind of crazy. He just lost Manny low. We don't condone that kind of violence. We don't condone any of this. Oh, so, goodness. We don't condone any of this. I don't condone Aaron Biggs at all as a wrestler, a competitor, or as a crew. I have to agree with you on that one. The chat is actually kind of riled up from what he just did. Yeah, I, they should be. And I quote, he just punched that beautiful black queen. That He did do that to, to her. Oh wow! Oh no! I thought he he's unzipped Aaron Biggs' um yeah, gear. I thought, to, it, I thought it busted open to get a um better chop, and I think maybe he just oh no oh, oh no oh no oh, oh no oh lord oh, just, okay he's catching him on a rebound and chopping him again oh oh, oh. stop oh. stop wow. it. Okay. do something. Oh, that's a scary man. Yeah. That is a scary man. I'm good, buddy. Can we throw Seth? Can we feed Seth to Aaron Biggs and get ass back? I would broker that deal. Where's Definitely management? Can we? That's a trade I'm willing to make. Security something. Just let just let Aaron Biggs take Seth. They. I need ass. I mean, we need ass. As as an ace. And as real. Azrael Kayyem is doing his best, but I don't, I, he's he's staying in this fight. He's showing what he's got. I mean, give him his credit. Aaron Biggs is just a menace. Manhandling him. Oh, look at that. You got you to gotta <laughs> lean on that athleticism. <laughs> We're in a battle like this. Azrael Kayyem trying to Oh! Yikes! Oh! My God! Yo! And he did it again! <laughs> The winner of this match no, no. <laughs> and advancing to the finals. How do you feel about that one? Aaron Absolutely Bing. insane. I, I didn't like it. I can tell you wow. That, like it. that is kind of crazy. Somebody, well, get him. Some, get him off him. I That's don't not, I, I don't. Ain't gonna lie. I'm not getting in the ring. How do I don't, I, tell I, don't, I don't want him to come I over can't, here. I got to be honest. Oh, that was, that was disturbing to watch. Y'all telling me to handle that I'm good, bro. No, someone should. I mean, geez. Not me. I ain't the hero today. I mean, he knocked, he knocked out Manny Low. He, he punched Amira Rose in the face. That's very true. This now, look at this is the second round match of the Shoes of the Champion Tournament. Why is he's wearing all of Az's clothes? Introducing first, Christian Cross. Now, why does Buddy have a do-rag? I just realized that. He's, he stole all of Az's clothes. Oh, wow. Introducing Next. Someone said Babytron. Maurice. Ma. <laughs> Your referee for this match, Dalen Keller. And the match has begun. This is our round two between Maurice Moss and. Maurice Moss and Christian Cross. Gotcha. It's fun to say. And our announcer has a do-rag on and, yeah. and Azrael um, shades. He's, he's taking Azrael shades. He's taking his shirt. He's taking his do-rag. He's taking everything but his swag. Yep. Just looks 
Kind of crazy. Kind of, yeah, yeah. He um he looks like a character in a bad SNL sketch. Oh! Oh wow. That was very respectful. He just said he just asked politely, shake the hand of the new champion. Oh! oh! Now that was a nice. And a near fall, literally a 2.99 second kick out. Yeah, the uh, the that sucker kick, if you will, and right to the figure four. Those were punches. He did not tap out. He was punching the mat. He's got to be careful, though. Oh uh, yeah, he definitely needs to be he careful. Needs to be careful with that. Because he can get called for. Yeah, position. yeah, I've seen it happen before. That can. And all right, that can be looked at as later as. You know, maybe he cheated to win, perhaps. Maybe, but also Christian Cross kicked him in the face. People before. are saying he's tapped. Yeah, I mean, those people are wrong, but it did. It, I can see how they would think that. I, I don't like Seth. Oh, Why is that? I just, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna get into it now. He's not out here. I just, I just saw him in the distance. I just, and a anyway, the egregious one. And that moves to the winner, winner of this oh, match. Right. And advancing to the finals, Maurice wow. just, like, just, like just like that. Wow. He just got annihilated. Yeah, I, he just, uh, I yeah. think he just knocked Christian Cross out. Or something. Um, I think, yeah, yeah um, pretty sure he just knocked Christian Cross out. Um, and that's what happens. Okay. I mean, that's why I said Maurice is a, a underdog. Maurice is someone who should be getting a lot more attention in Carolina wrestling uh, and here in Ace. Yeah, that, that was a very quick match. I definitely didn't expect that to go down how it did, but things happen for a reason. Yeah, and um, in the meantime, I believe we're about to hear some words from the reigning Firestar Pro Wrestling champion, Mr. Okay. Jackson Drake. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to humbly welcome you to Shoes of a Champion. As you can see, I am the champion, and I am wearing my shoes. This show is about me, not Kevin Pierce. Who'd he ever beat? Jackson Drake did wear shoes, especially for the occasion. He doesn't usually wear them. More you know. Now the card says, the card says I'm supposed to come out here and address my future with Firestar Pro Wrestling. And you know what? We can get to that. We can get to that. But the thing is, you can't plan for the future without remembering the past. So I'd like to take everybody back to December 4th. 2016. That day was my first time ever stepping into a wrestling ring. That day was my first time laying eyes on this championship. That day was the first time in my entire life where I truly understood what it means to want something so bad you can taste it. Now after that, it's years and years and years of broken bones, broken promises. The happiest times of my life. The darkest times of my life. So now we fast forward to October 29th, 2023. I laid to rest any remaining uncertainty about whether or not I am the best that the Southeast has to offer when I soundly defeated Jay Malachi in the middle of this ring for this championship right here. Sending his ass packing so bad he ain't coming back. I never needed Firestar. Firestar needed me. Firestar needed the... Now, unfortunately, uh -oh. unfortunately, due to uh -oh. the fact that we That's live in generation yes, pussy, yes. I can't say all wow. the things I'd That's like to say. Mr. I can't Fires call certain people himself. all this. That boy the boy calls on his ear. Whoa, 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 whoa. LeBron Cozone is not LeBron on the board. LeBron Cozone. Am I supposed to hand this over? Am I supposed wow. to hand this over? Because that ain't happening. I'll tell you that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Quit playing. One, pick come this come belt here. up. All right, all right, all right. Treat it with some right. respect. Respect? What you know about respect? You're interrupting your champion. What the hell do you know about respect? Shut your mouth. Damn! All right. Now, Jack, I respect the fact that you're the Firestar champion. You earned it. But what I respect even like more, Jack, Definitely. is the journey that That'd you took to get where you are. Not just in the ring, but outside of the ring. All the stops that you had, everything stacked against you, but you kept crawling and you're where you are now. So that, I respect you. But what I don't respect is that attitude. And it's been there for a very long time. And unfortunately, oh, wow. nobody has stepped up to fix 
what needs to be fixed. Because quite frankly, I don't think you understand what it means to carry that championship and be a real champion. In honor of our good friend, KP. Sit your ass down. Sit down. No. Sit down. Come here, KP. Come here. Yes, sir. All right, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah. That boy, He's KP. This. He's earned this. He's earned that. Okay, I didn't hit cancer patient. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, so wow. We just going to air it? We just going to wow. air it? Wow. Like that? Okay. Now, Kev. Okay. I know, and everybody in here knows, you defeated that cancer. He did. That's not even on your title no more. Nope. You're over that. He kicked that cancer's ass. So, Jackson, I challenge you to an impromptu match for that championship. Oh, wait. In a cage match! What? Uh, Who got a cage? We got a cage? Where is the cage at? We can't fit a cage in here. Look at that door. We can't fit a cage in here. Cage? Where is the cage coming from? We, where is the cage? <laughs> A Who cage. paid for a cage? Send me, did you buy a cage? I didn't buy it. You look, they ain't in my budget right now, my brother. Someone got to buy a lie. cage. We can't just grow cages. What? So where There's, are the cages? I'm cage looking at? around. There's no cage. We bet. There's no cage? That's uh, fine. We don't need to. Because be I'll beat your ass in a cage or not a cage. What do you say? Okay, so no cage. Looks like no cage. No. I, yeah, I don't believe there's a cage. Okay. Wanted to. As you can see, so as everybody can see, the Fed chat. overlooked the wrong guy. Audio. That means for the time being, my job is to make sure this championship sees levels of prestige it has never seen before. I need to leave behind a trail of bloodshed you know. wherever I go. And I guess that starts with you, Cozy. No! He ain't just throw that mic. He ain't just throw that mic like that. I know he ain't just throw that mic like that. I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. I, I believe video. it's unanimous. Is he still here? This match is for the Firestar Pro Wrestling Championship. Introducing first the challenger, the founder, LeBron Cozone. That's who I think of. Your glasses either. Introducing the next, really the champion. He is the Carolina Reaper and your Firestar Pro Wrestling Champion, Jackson Drake. Those are Azrael Kaim's glasses. So in my mind, Azrael Kaim is the Firestar Pro Wrestling Champion. They stole him. I'm just going to say it. LeBron Cozone um, coming in like an, an angry parent almost. And a quick, we're back here. Um, LeBron Cozo had a, had a quick, almost got Jackson Drake quick here. Like I said, like I was saying, he came in like a, like a um, disappointed parent. Um, said he respects Jackson Drake, what he's accomplished, what he can do, what he will do. But he has to beat some kind of respect into him, I guess, is the plan here. Student and teacher, by yeah, the way. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. The Cozo has taught a lot of people. Yeah, Le LeBron Cozon knows uh, knows Jackson Drake about as well as anybody in this business because, like you just said, he, he trained him. I mean, this is the Firestar Pro Wrestling training school that we're at, so a lot of these students around the ring are getting a chance to watch, you know, their teacher and their champion just kind of square off here. A lot of transitions since the waist lock that's going on right now. Oh! oh. Not More bullets. That. I thought I heard LeBron call for ball game. That's usually the end of it. Now, I don't think he wants to get into a chop match with. Yeah, uh, yeah, you definitely don't want to get into a yeah. chop match with Cozy. No. You, can tell by, you can tell by that footwork and the lack of knee pads. Cozy's an old school kind of dude. He's a, he's a striker, he's a grappler. Absolutely. I felt Cozone chop myself, and I have to tell you, 
They are not uh -oh. nice. Uh-oh. Here we go. That's what we have our, our commentary hey! partner. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Jackson Drake is not going to get this easy with No, he's not. He knows that. He knows that. Um, if anything, his 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 arrogance is just um, going to be his downfall. You know he wants that that bragging rights of being able to get one over on LeBron Cozo. He wants that win. He, he, you know, this was not a planned match. This was not signed or scheduled. Jackson Drake could have very easily grabbed his title and left. But he wants this win. He wants to be able to get one over his trainer. I know one of these uh, trainees around ringside dabbles in the dark arts. I just hope he's okay, wherever he may be. I don't see him. I would like to. What's interesting here is you have that, that raw emotion of, of Jackson Drake. And that just like that raw talent versus the more refined style and that, that calmness of LeBron Cozo. He's biting. Hey, like Jackson Drake biting wow. LeBron Cozo's hand to get free there. Beautiful quarter row by Jackson Drake. Uh oh. But it looks like it off, doesn't matter. He cut off that monkey flip into a uh, some oh, kind of wow. bomb. Near fall. No. Almost had him. No, got him sweep. on the second one. Goodness gracious. And just a plain old senton. Cody's feeling it. But so is Jackson. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, now That's it's a time. deep. Here it is. And he kicks out again, and Cozone's having a lot of offense. Yeah, I mean, he knows he has, he's going to have to stack a lot of things together here to, to put Jackson Drake down. Like you said, he respects, he respects Jackson for the athlete, the wrestler he is, but Absolutely. maybe just not the person. Uh-oh. Oh. So now that I could ever, you know, tell a veteran like Cozy what to do, but maybe stop calling for it, because that's the second time it's been blocked. We see those animes where they're telling you exactly what they're about to do, and you don't know why they're telling you, but they just have to announce it. That's how it is. Like a charge up. Yeah, same thing. But I mean, you know. Oh. Is that legal? No. Oh. Oh. From the top rope? No way. And oh, Jackson Drake moves. Okay. Keeps his match going. Keeps his championship reign right alive. But more bad decisions here, because as you can see, Cozy's right behind him. And he's um he's not happy. Uh oh. Yeah, you it's too late to start reaching now, brother. Oh, but, oh, I believe they oh call God. this bringing them back in the hard way. Oh, 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 you see the way he bounced off the canvas? He definitely just bounced off. Goodness. You usually don't see things happen like that, but, eh? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a punchline about uh, LeBron and dribbling in there somewhere, but it's, it's, it's too corny. I understand. Both these guys himself. are, yeah, well, I mean. You see, he has interesting ways of psyching himself up. But both these guys are nearing, looks like they're nearing an empty tank. Kind of struggle to first one, I, I believe, who first one who gets the next advantage will probably take home the win. Absolutely. You know Cozy would love to win his belt back. It he, is yeah. his, after all. He's created the song. He did. And more importantly, he would love to see Jackson Drake come down a peg and hopefully be able to get some humility and come back even stronger. Cozy showing that he can um he can speed it up too. Justin Drake rolls through his his feet. Goodness. LeBron Cozy looking for a clear shot here. Well, he might be over. I thought. 
think he thinks it's coming soon. Uh-oh. A lot of people he putting him in the air tonight. He just a lot of people are um, lighting up tonight. Focus pack, perhaps. Uh-oh. A one-man, uh, what's up there? That's that's different. That's, a, that's an insane slip, if you ask me. That's nasty. That's what I discussed in, in mo, mo, many ways. Looking for a quick roll-up. Only gets out. two. And he called See, it out oh, again. Like he might have got it. He was so close. You gotta stop calling for it. Oh! oh! God. Wow. What a power driver. Ryan is he might be late for the count, leading. though. And Cozy kicks out. Jackson Drake is bleeding from the nose and possibly the side of his face. Jackson Drake's nose might be broken. No, he's definitely bleeding. Yeah, he's for sure bleeding. Jackson Drake's one of those like kind of weird people where uh, this might help him in some and, kind of way. You know, folks, the blood is... Obviously not real. Come on, guys. You know, this is not real blood. You don't want it like that. You don't want the win like that, Jackson. Come on, Jackson. Blood is very fake. <laughs> oh, is that what Jackson says? Yeah. Has to be. Oh, okay, okay. For good purposes. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa. Kevin Pierce was fighting with Jackson Drake about the belt. He snatched the belt. Um, unintentionally. Oh! Unintentionally, Jackson went out the ring off the momentum. I believe he hit our camera guy. In the confusion, Cozy was lined up for his in game, uh, his ball game, clothesline finisher, and Jackson Drake's foot is under the rope. So this match is still somehow gone. still happening. Goodness, not sure what either guy could uh, still have left. Boy. He literally just flipped him. Jackson Drake is um, daring LeBron Cozon to hit him, which is just simply a bad idea. Oh, Goodness. wow. And he is being tortured. Oh, oh my lord. Listen, LeBron goes on as a solid individual. Okay, he's he's Oh my god. Very well put together. That forearm into his throat is not pleasant. And neither was that boot from Jackson Drake. This might be over. It might be. That F5. Tight cover. And Jackson Drake. The winner of this match fires. It's still Firestar wow. Pro Wrestling Champion, Jackson Drake. Mentor our coach now. But I wonder if even if yeah. even in even in defeat, I wonder if he was still able to, to beat some respect in the Jackson Drake. I gotta say that was uh quite that was, wild. That was um, violent. I'm very that surprised was in what just happened. Um, and we are we are down to our main event here. We have one match left here. One match left here. Shoes of a champion. Absolutely. It is our final in our tournament to crown the first ever Super Draw champion, and it will be Aaron Biggs who I still don't understand why he's in this tournament. He Absolutely. does not work here. Against Maurice Moss, the egregious one, who I believe will be a fine first champion. I agree myself. And I hope everyone's been enjoying the show thus far. Hope you guys are well entertained. It seems like we are kicking. This is the finals of the Shoes of a Champion Tournament! <laughs> Introducing first, Aaron Big! Introducing second. I, mean, I, just, I don't think he. I don't know why. Maurice Ma! They're all jumping him. I think everyone that basically lost yeah. to him. Well, I mean, listen, like I've been saying, he oh. shouldn't be in this tournament. He does not belong here. He, he doesn't does go here. I agree with you. Maurice Moss, hold on. Maurice. What's Maurice doing? What's Maurice doing? Are they about to jump him too? I, that they shouldn't. I mean, they have all lost, but they're trying to defend their locker room. Your locker room, Maurice. That Our locker very room. True. What you mean? Yeah. There we go. Defend your area. Defend your turf. Oh. oh defend wow. our turf. Wow. Take it. He they're wants to come like in off the street. And take what's yours, make him earn it. They're not letting him live. You can't. Somebody comes in off the street in your house and tries to take what's yours, what are you going to do? I have to agree with you on that one. But he and your family's here with you? This is a tournament for the first ever Super Jar Tournament, Super Jar Championship. Oh, God. Three of these men are Super Jar and a tag team partner. So this, this makes sense. They're defending their turf here. 
I don't think that was a smart idea from Mass, but in general, what they're doing is deserved. Uh, I think they're about to give a good lift on him. Saw his hand signals. Yeah, they're, they're setting up for something. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No? Oh! Oh, oh my yeah! God! I like, like that. That's like a wow, a, a double 3D. Four people. Yeah, that was that was kind of crazy. They just did him the worst way. They they did what they had to do. They did what needed to be done. Good job, guys. Defend your, your defend your turf. This is our locker room. I guess uh, Marisa Champion, right? Yeah, has to be. Marisa. Wait a minute. What? He's still he's he's wow. not done. He's not done. Oh wait wait wait. Oh. He's supposed to be the he's stop. supposed to be out. KP, Kevin, Don't he can't this. go. Don't do it. Kevin, he can't. Don't do it. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. He, oh, hey, he wanted He wanted it. He, he wanted to start it. the match. He wanted it. He asked for it's this. Over. He asked for this. Oh. Oh, no. Wait. And he kicks he kick, he kick, out. He kicked out? After all of that turmoil he just went through, uh, he is still alive. Um... Okay, 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 here's another one. Here's a Oh no, no. Oh no no Goodness. Yeah, yes, he's free. Okay. Come on, Maurice. What is happening? Oh god. Oh god, no. That was a receipt if I've never seen one. Oh. Maurice, get up. He might be over. Maurice, get up. Whoa. Oh. Okay. How is, he, how is he still going? Yeah, I have no idea. How he is just he got Literally quadruple team and is somehow still standing. Maurice, move, move, move. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What's happening? He's okay. Listen, he's taking a lot of headshots. That is very um, true. over the course of these matches, and he just got that beat down. He wanted this though. He asked for this though. <laughs> he did. Yeah, ask for it. he asked for this. this you wanted fault. this, big man. He asked for it. You wanted this, big man. It's over. He can't blame nobody but himself. Headshots! Headshots! Oh, wow. Oh! There we go. I don't think he's finished. He, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I'm in Maurice Moss. Oh, you need one more kill shot. One more kill shot. He's going to do another one? Do as many as you need. As many as you need. Goodness, and a curb stomp. Get up, man. Oh, yeah, this is going to be hard. This just roll him over. You're going to have to. He ain't got nothing. Ain't nothing left. And the match is over, folks. <laughs> winner of the match. Maurice Moss. And the shoes of the champion tournament. Of the finals. Maurice Moss. And we have crowned your first ever Super Jaw champion. Like that um, is it's been a pleasure, but I have somewhere to be. Oh, do your thing, by all means. Well, hello, you guys. It's your boy Simmy, and we are live on the mic. Oh, we got my boy Baby Tron grabbing the headset. Absolutely. I'll put the headset on. What the hell's going on around here? This is the Durag man that was announcing the show, uh, for the most part, you guys. And it seems like my other commentator here is now inside of the ring. They're um, kicking Kevin Pierce out of the ring on his own show. Yeah, that is kind of insane, if you ask me. Oh, you turncoat. This is I, like Hogan in 96. As I can see why he was so hyped just now when Maurice Moss had finished the match. I don't know if you call that a match. That was a murder. Well, the durag is off, chat. You guys have nothing to worry about. The durag is actually off. It was stolen from me. Uh, please return to sender. You can uh, go ahead and get it on my Amazon wish list. We'll talk later. You heard the man.